Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm gonna show you how to catch gophers with a trap called the gophinator. Here's a closer look at this trap. It was invented by a man named Steve Albano, who for the past 17 years has run a service business where he catches moles, voles, and gophers. This is the larger version, it's the gophinator. He has two smaller versions for catching moles and then a really great system for catching voles. The different components of the trap are a winder, which is a spring with a hook here. There's a pan or a trigger. There's a little loop on this side for the trigger system. There's a trip bar here, has a little hook on this end, and then two jaws. One's fixed and one rotates. The left side moves up and down. Now to set it, you wanna make sure this is unwound. You wanna position the trip bar here so the hook goes over the jaw, and then you hook it on the pan. You push that forward. Now what you wanna do is hook this winder up here on the hook. The first wind is not powerful enough. We'll go around again. That has quite a bit of tension. Keep this pan forward. That's what's keeping the trap set right here. Then when it's set like this, you put it underground. The gopher will come through his tunnel. His body will be in between these jaws. Push the pan forward, release the lever, and the spring will wind around and cause the jaws to close just like this. That has quite a bit of force and the gopher will die very quickly with a body catch like that. Now gophers are a huge problem in my yard. Every time I mow the grass, it's just a great big dusty mess. They make hills everywhere, and as the mower passes by, that dirt hits the blade, kicks up the dust. It's really not fun. And as soon as I mow the yard and all those mounds are knocked down, within hours the gophers start digging again, building new mounds, clearing out their tunnels. The gophers have great big teeth and jaws for digging. They don't like coming above ground very often. They're pretty skittish, and very quickly they plug the hole and go back underground. Let's go outside and set up the gophinator. I just mowed my yard yesterday, so this is a really recent gopher mound. You can tell it's a gopher mound by that crescent-shaped dirt pile and the plugged hole. We're gonna find the main tunnel and set up the gophinator. I've located the main gopher tunnel. There's a run going this way and one going this way in a line like this. We're going to set up two gophinator traps, one in either direction. That way we can get the animal as they come through their tunnel. We'll go ahead and set this. Then we're going to go ahead and seat those jaws down in the dirt. To secure the trap, I'm going to place a wire pin flag right through the back. That way we can find the trap and the gopher won't be able to pull it down the tunnel. We'll go ahead and set our other trap. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the grass plug back on this so it's closed off. Now with the trap set in the tunnels and marked, we'll come back tomorrow and see if we got our gopher. I checked the trap the following day and we did not have any gophers. But today I noticed a new mound so maybe the gophers returned. Let's see if we got one. I don't feel any resistance. This one doesn't have a gopher. These flags make it really easy to find the trap. This one's not pulling out very easy. There we go. That's a huge gopher. Let's take a look at him. The gophinator trap worked perfectly. The gopher went down the tunnel. His body went over the jaws. He hit that trigger and the jaws closed right behind the shoulders. To remove them, we unclipped the spring open up the jaws and give it a little flip. Gophers can do so much damage to agriculture crops, to yards, and in my case, I'm just tired of creating a big dust cloud every time I mow my grass. The gophinator is one of my all-time favorite traps for catching gophers. The other trap I really like is the gopher hawk. I've had good success with both. We'll be testing out the mole version of this trap in the next few weeks. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, please consider hitting the button right there. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.